That's crazy. I literally have a queen bee as a summon. Let's see it in action. Here. Oh my god, it's shaking the screen. What's going on? Oh, it follows my mouse? Go ahead, charge it up one more time. Boom! Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are checking out what if Terraria had a beekeeper class or a bee class thanks to the Bombus Apis mod, aka the Terraria bee mod. Now this mod adds in a new class, the beekeeper class. I'm gonna read this directly from the forum. The beekeeper class uses a custom resource called honey. Honey is a scarce resource so regeneration takes long but scales up extremely fast the more honey you have in your bank. Furthermore, when your honey is over 50, your life regen is increased. Nice. See, this would be a good way to segue into like a honey sponsorship, but like they don't, uh, they never contacted me. But yeah, let us get into it here. We got a bunch of weapons. Hopefully I got all of them. There's a lot of them and most of them look exactly the same because they're all bee themed. But let's start with these ones, the combs, the honey combs. Uh, right away, I am going to mention the sprites are not the greatest. I've seen better spriting, but they're also not that bad. Some of them are honestly really good looking like some of these look perfectly fine they look like they blend in with terraria and then other ones they just look really odd like this one looks really weird look at it that's not two by two when you sprite for terraria you gotta make sure it's two by two because otherwise it'll stick out a lot but yeah let's get to it hopefully i have all the honeycombs like i said a lot of things look the same i might forget something here and there let's get to it we got our honey in the top right we got our first honeycomb we got a word that i have no idea how to say i gotta look it up all right Hi Minatra, Hi Minatra, something like that. Hi Minatra, I think that's how you say it, and it's like bees whatever who cares let's get to it this one does four damage even worker bees scoff at this pitiful weapon damn uses one honey let's see it very simple very simple uh, item uh i should probably try and spawn something in attack me or yeah come towards me there we go you know most enemies they like to run away if it's you know it's not a certain time of day or we're not in their biome on to the next we got the thorn honeycomb be careful it's prickly let me see how prickly it is okay shoots a lot faster and every now and then shoots a little blow dart very cool very cool let's see it in action here should obviously be better than our last one i honestly probably should have made this platform bigger uh frosted honeycomb the bees adapted to the freezing temperature let's see it in action i'm assuming frost burn oh and it shoots out a little projectile nice nice the bees are actually blue look at that we picked up pollen perfect and then we use the pollen to craft things i'm assuming all right next up we got the gelatinous honeycomb a honeycomb fit for a king releases a bee which spawns gel from the sky on death let's see it very cool that the bees are actually different nice detail thought we were gonna see a whole lot of yellow bees but no they're actually recolored and different and look at that you see the gel dropping from the sky i like this one next up we got the brainy honeycomb the iq of this honeycomb is off the charts applies a variety of debuffs to your enemies let's see it in action hit them with them debuffs oh confusion beautiful and i think i saw frost burn and just regular burning next up infected honeycomb infected by the powers of the corruption fires many eaters and bees to devour your enemies partially ignores enemy defense that's always good to hear ignoring enemy defense is great oh now that's a good projectile right there that's a strong projectile next up we got stone honeycomb rock plus bee what could go wrong let's see it so they're just really hard bees i'm assuming not harder than me though let's see it in action let's see these hard bees i'm assuming this is a very simple upgrade uh really slow but you're trading the slowness for better damage is what i'd assume all right let's get the next ones here uh, we're gonna enter into some hard ones hard mode ones uh we got this one first though the cartilage creator cursed with the power of skeletron spew skeletal bees bones and skulls damn so we got bees bones and skulls that's a combo right there hey don't run away from me no it's fine run away from me i'll chase you all right, next up, we got the cyst comb. Beautiful name. A honeycomb overgrown by cysts. Gross. Let's go ahead. Let's see it in action here. Let me drop to the floor. That way, we can actually, you know, have some room for enemies to move around on. It's good. It's a it's a crimson item. Icor. Icor, you can never go wrong with. Curse honeycomb. Shoots bees down for curse flames. Curse flames. Can't go wrong with either, of course. Great debuffs do great damage. Next up, we got the metal plated honeycomb. Uh, metal bee death laser working laser bees. Exe compacted. Perfect. That's all I need to hear. Let's bring in some harder enemies. Uh, I don't know. Spore zombie. Sure, why not? Let's see it in action. So they just look like bees that shoot lasers. Cool. Actually, really cool. I like that. Uh, we got proby comb. Rapidly fires probies. Probies explode into lasers upon death. It sounds dope. Let's see it in action here. Ooh, they are actually legit probes. 
<laughs> I like this one. Last two, the Chlorophyte Honeycomb and the Honeycomb of the Galaxies. The Chlorophyte one rapidly fires a spread of leaf bees. Oh, nice little spread. This is actually using a lot of honey now. This is using tons of honey. Does good damage. I like that the bees are green, of course. And then now we got the Honeycomb of the Galaxies. The power of the pillars unite with the bees. This one, I probably should wait for a honey to restore. All right, let's see it in action here. Oh my God, it's shaking the screen. <laughs> That's how crazy it is. So shooting bees of all the pillars. Let's uh, let's bring out the King Slime here. Let's see it go against a uh, boss. I like the screen shake. Makes it feel very, very powerful. That's really how you add some power to weapon. You add in some effects, you add a little screen shake, the weapon will feel strong as hell. It can do like five damage, but it'll still feel strong as hell. All right, there you go. We're done with the combs. Now, I think I should just start grabbing things. Uh, you know what? I'll try and keep it a theme, I guess. Let's grab all the sword type weapons. That's what I'm gonna do here. Or all the melee type weapons. That's a yo-yo, that's melee enough. Hopefully that's all of them. There's a beamerang. You know what? Might as well take that one. All right, we got the stinger scimitar. Fires a random amount of stingers when swung. Let's see it. Very simple. Honestly, a nice idea. I like it. I'm already liking that this class has so many uh, options and variety. A lot of subclasses within the class itself, which is nice to see. All right, next up, we got the Honeybee Sky Slasher. Rains a sword projection from the heavens. Spawns bees on impact. So kind of like a... Um, star fury but instead we got swords and it spawns in bees so let me bring in some easier to hit enemies here just so we can see it fully in action a little hard to aim i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit slow but honestly it might be better than a star fury just because it rains more projectiles true stinger scimitar doesn't say much it's just a better version of the stinger scimitar the true version let's see it against skeletons probably not the greatest ending to test things on because you know they're resistant to poison what about just regular zombies there we go. Look at that. They're getting poisoned. We got the bee blade. So many bees. Oh, this is like a combo of the scimitar and the honey bee sky slasher. I bet it is. I bet that's the, literally the recipe. Let's check right now. Right now we're checking. Wait, no, that's the bee blade itself. Boom, right there. Bee blade. Actually, it's true stinger and true honey bee sky slasher. So this one goes into this and then it goes into this but yeah let's see it in action here we can bring in some tougher enemies let's bring in some skeleton commandos why not let's change it up with the enemy we bring in they're taking a couple hits but they're still dying all right and then we got the true honeybee sky slasher this one i should have checked out first kind of reminds me of like the influx weaver my bad influx waiver not weaver uh let's bring in i don't know who could we bring in here hell armored bones two of them wrong weapon this one this is the weapon i like how it looks it's definitely a different looking weapon like this might be one of the coolest sprites in the mod this sword all right next up we got the wasp nest there was a wasp nest that spawns wasp while it's in the air is this a yo-yo <laughs> it is a yo-yo i mean it looked like one but that description did not sound like it very simple it shoots out wasp and it's a yo-yo nice next up we got the beamerang it does a honeycomb that returns the player and spawns bees on it simple idea you know let's see it in action though uh, probably better than most of your average boomerangs just because it adds the bees. Let's go ahead. Let's grab some more weapons here. I guess now, I, I don't know what to grab. <laughs> let's just grab things that don't look like guns. How about that? Because a lot of these are like guns or they look like guns. Well, actually, most of them probably are guns. So we'll check out all of those at the end. Uh, the hive. There was a beehive that spawns bees on contact. Very simple. Oh, this is also a yo-yo. Did not look like a yo-yo at all. And when it comes out, it's also not shaped like that, okay? I honestly would like if it's shaped like an actual hive like that. Uh, we got the mana-infused honeycomb. A honeycomb infused with the powers of the dungeon. Fires giant bees that will spawn mana bolts on impact. Okay. Let Do I have to impact the floor? Or is it just impacting an enemy? I'm assuming it's impacting an enemy. Yeah, there you go. There's all the bolts, the white little bolts, the sperm cell looking bolts. Flask of honey. This one is uh probably very self-explanatory. Seems like a weaker version of the chemical flask. We got the earthen bee tome. Finally, a good golem weapon. The projectiles will be created at your cursor. Let's see it. Oh, this is a interesting one. It looks interesting as hell. I don't even know what's going on. I'm out of honey. All right, let's try this again. Let's bring in a bunch of enemies. Let's see if I actually hit them or not. There you go. So I'm assuming you got to just put the cursor directly on them. And they'll make your life a lot easier. Yes, sir. We got the Trader saxophone. You like jazz. Banger? 
<laughs> it's playing a banger? We getting out the hood with this music, huh? Cool. I always like instruments uh, as weapons. It's always a funny idea. Shout out the Thorium Bard class. Uh, we got Spectral Bee Tome. The Souls of Forgotten Bees seeking vengeance. So, why? It just shoots straight up. I'm assuming they're home in then. Yes, sir. Okay, good. I was about to say, it's a little hard to aim. And last but not least here for these ones, we got the Queen's Larva. Once a royal queen, now your royal guard. Drains your honey bank on use. Partially ignores immunity frames. Uses 100 honey. This, I feel like, is about to go crazy. Let's bring in, I don't know, Frankensteins. We got the Frankensteins here. Let's see it in action. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like that weapon a lot. Oh, she stays around for a little bit. You want to fight the King Slime for me? Yeah, go ahead and kill that for me. Now, that's a cool weapon right there. That's crazy. I literally have a queen bee as a summon. All right, so I got some other weapons here. All right, pretty much all of them. We got the honey bee blaster. Fires a spread of poisonous bees. Shakes the screen on the shot. Very starlight river-like. Like, literally, that one shotgun from the starlight river demo. You'd love to see it. Does cool damage. It's okay. It's a shotgun. Hellfire bee blaster. Fires a spread of hellish bees. We're bringing it up. Instead of regular bees, we got hellish ones. Let's see them in action here. Go ahead. Burn them up. B nade launcher. A grenade launcher that shoots B nades, because why not? Perfect. Can't go wrong with B nades. B nades are a goaded throwing weapon. I guess throwing a goaded range weapon now, since throwing doesn't exist. Uh, we got the mini hornet, half hornet, half gun, completely awesome. Mini shark hornet gun. And I like how it's ahead of a hornet. <laughs> this is pretty funny. I like, I like that. Cool idea. Damage seems meh. It's not really doing too much for me. Next up, we got the honey flare gun. Fires honey flares, which stick into enemies and explode into honey. Let's see it in action here. Ooh. I like how the explosion also shakes the screen. I like the screen shaking, man. That's how you get Game Raider's seal of approval. Shake the screen. <laughs> the bee, Peter. Rapidly fires bee arrows. Okay, so this is like the bee's knees, but a repeater version. Very cool. And last but not least, we got the honey flare cannon. Rapidly fires the spread of honey flares. So this one is just a stronger flare gun, pretty much. Cool. All right, let's bring some more weapons up here. No specific order. There you go. First up, we got bee throwers. Somehow the bees don't die to the fire. Don't ask me. I just work here. I'm not asking at all. But pretty much a bee flamethrower. That is dope as hell. I like it. Honestly, wish it just shot like a wave of bees. Uh, we got the bee-zooka. Launches a massive bee, which spawns bees on hit. Let's see it in action. Oh my god, that is a massive bee, and that bee looked terrifying. Why does it look like that? <laughs> What's up with the little hands it has? That's terrifying. All right, next up, we got the star strap. Stay strapped. Yes, sir. That's all it says. It doesn't say anything else. What does it do? Oh, it shoots star bees. Okay, okay. Let's see them in action here. I'm assuming, yep, shoot stars from the sky on contact very cool next up we got the beamerang blaster those are honeycombs that spawns bees on hit honestly i could probably guess like half of these weapons and what they do like i don't even need to read the description for all of them but this is cool it's like a boomerang and a gun all in one we got the beanie gun it costs 400,000 bottles of honey to fire this weapon for 12 seconds damn let me go ahead let me fire this off let me do it justice oh a minigun and bees combined together. Where can you go wrong with that? Next up, we got the laser beam. Shoots a massive concentration of honey. Bees will fly from the barrel when an enemy is hit. Yes, sir. Let's see it. Charge it up. Ooh. Go ahead. Charge it up one more time. Boom. All right. We got our last set of weapons here. Let's go through them. Starting with this one. Queen bee stinger striker. Fire stingers and bees to destroy your enemies. Uh, I don't know if I need stinger ammo. I hope I don't. No. Okay. That's what they meant by stinger. They meant actual stingers. I thought it was going to be like the golem weapon stinger. We are good. Uh, we got the star swarmer. Rapidly fire star bees. Every seven shots, a large star will fire. Sounds cool. Let's see it in action. Get a row of zombies lined up. Ooh, look at that big star. Feels like something out of Kirby. Oh my God. What's going on? Oh, it follows my mouse. What? It doesn't even say that in the description. I did not expect that. I did not expect that at all. We got the mechanical mauler. The power of the mechs are at your fingertips. This is a B weapon. Okay. Let's see it in action here. Oh, so it's like all the, the mechanical B weapons combined. Get a stronger enemy. It's bringing Skeleton Commando. And let's hit him with this. I like it. 
I like that you can combine all of them. Next up, we got Spasma Cannon. Red Nazer will be proud. Fire Spasbees to spew cursed flames at the enemies. Okay, let's see it in action. Skeleton Commandos, go ahead, hit him. Eh, it's okay. Nice little damage. I thought it was just going to be like a wave of cursed flames being shot, but in B form. Instead of a wave, it's more like a splash, like a puddle of bees in curse flame form. And last but not least, the bee bubble blaster. Aliens really like bubbles that shoot bullets. The bubbles fire differently depending where the player is looking, of course. Let's see it. Let's bring in some snipers. It's a B version of the Xeno Popper. Not much to talk about there, but there you go. There's all the weapons. I like them. There's a lot of variation. They're all cool B themed weapons. You can't go wrong here. There's subclasses of weapons. There's, you know, summon type weapons like the Queen's Larva. It's cool. I like it. Let's move on to the armor though. Let me go ahead and get naked here. Or I guess not naked. Need a Terraria mod where my character is naked when he doesn't have armor. Uh, starting with this armor set here. Don't have a specific order. Just kind of throw them in here. Uh, starting with the beekeeper stuff. Cool. Cool. Let's go ahead. Let's put it on. Set bonus gives us some more damage and honey capacity. Nice. The sprite is not good at all. <laughs> this sprite could look way better uh i kind of wish the mask was also closed you now beekeeper mask are how they're like kind of closed uh, i kind of wish it was like that next up we got the wasp set here let's go ahead let's throw it on this kind of looks like recolored copper armor with wings on the helmet set bonus gives us some damage life gen more honey capacity adds the effects of the hive pack on most bee weapons cool shoot some big boy bees uh next up we got skeletal set here throw this on this set is not bad looking and then the uh set bonus gives us more damage fire uh, fires an additional skeletal bee that does 10 true damage when a weapon is fired next up we got the bee archer set let's put this on this one makes my character look goofy as hell uh set bonus shoots bee arrows when a weapon is fired cool next up we got this hollow set here uh but with a bee helmet instead so let's see the bee helmet brings our capacity up makes us do more bee damage cool same thing with the chlorophyte one i'm assuming i might as well just take out a chlorophyte set boom chlorophyte set there's the helmet i kind of wish that like all the helmets were kind of beekeeper themed you know what i'm saying i'm gonna put a beekeeper like mask on the screen that's how like all the helmets should be yeah this gives us more damage capacity has a chance to fire a leaf bee when a weapon is fired leaf bees explode into leaves on death cool let's grab this set right here the hive mine uh these ones are the hive mine this one's the hives mine i get it this set honestly doesn't look the worst uh, it's actually kind of probably one of the cooler looking ones just because it's trying to be like a hive mine you know and uh set bonus periodically spawns evil bees periodically is an understatement this is something in a lot of bees <laughs> and last but not least we got this right here the honey hoarder this one does not look bad either i like this one this is probably my favorite looking one <laughs> my boy is caked in honey that boy is coated in honey here you go there's a set bonus or the armor stats and the set bonus more damage defense is increased but this does have a hat so if you want to just coat his head in honey not his face uh this gives us more capacity gives us damage decrease so we're trading having more honey and having less damage okay interesting all right the accessories let's see here let's just grab all of them let's start with these jars jar of honey increases damage slightly increases life regen honey capacity increased by five very simple accessory no looks on it okay got it retina releaser fires a servant of cthulhu when a weapon is fired uh let me go ahead let me fire something here fire this there you go servant of cthulhu cool cool uh we got honey locket this locket has a deep connection to the hive equipable burst out a couple bees do these bees stay with me forever or do they attack and then they respawn i think they attack and respawn so let me summon in something maybe they do stay with me forever I don't know. <laughs> I like this one though. Alright, next up, honeyed skull. The skull will give you an improved honey buff on enemy hit. Honey fast increased by 10, grits and fixes the obsidian skull. Very simple. No sprite for it. I don't think any of these are gonna have a sprite on the character. So that means I could put my mushroom outfit back on. We got this bee emblem and honeyed emblem. Both increases damage very cool and this one gives you honey capacity uh we got bee squire shield the most noble of bee squires shall protect you let me see it oh i like the sprite a little squire bee let's go ahead let's see him in action go ahead do some work beat his ass and i can also dash unless it's a part of something else uh next up we got the queen charge use the power of the hive to dash in any direction the shield will produce a bee nade when you dash that's cool i like that <laughs> it's like a marty dama drop a nade behind me 
that's cool i like that this one actually does have a sprite kind of wish for this sprite that it wasn't so flat because obviously you can see like the antenna so you should have like the antenna sticking out a uh, honeybee a honeybee will collect honey for you increase your honey capacity by 10 does it have a sprite i kind of wish it had like a sprite of it like not even flying around you know how like uh you have like the balloon when you put on a balloon it kind of just like floats next to you i feel like that would be a cool sprite instead of a balloon you just have the little honeybee right there see look at that game raiders got the ideas put me on the creative director team i'm telling you terraria would be the greatest game of all time if i was on the creative direction team honeycomb necklace increases armor pen releases b yep 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 very fairly simple but there you go there was the bombus apis mod aka the b mod very cool mod adds in the new class and as you can see there's a lot of stuff throughout the class uh i do wonder is there any npcs from it ah the trader b what's up bro look at that that is terrifying that is a scary sprite right there and he sells some weapons good for him very cool maybe in the future i do a class playthrough of it i don't know maybe someone else will do it like adrian gungnir i don't know anyone else beaver go ahead but yeah make sure to check out the mod i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you all next time